Uh, Guilford, this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, you have the chance to take a step back into time into the world of Renaissance fairy tales and the like. The Robin Hood Springtime Festival is on, a Renaissance fair that includes characters from your favorite stories like Sleeping Beauty and, of course, Robin Hood. Joining me now is the whole gang, including Brian Harvard, co-owner and general manager of the Robin Hood Festival. Brian, please make the introductions here. Well, first we have Robin Hood himself. Mm. I mean, you can't have a Robin Hood festival no, without this, this Robin is, Hood, the man, yeah, the, the myth, the legend. <laughs> we have Sleeping Beauty, Princess Aurora, Good day. and of course, the legendary Johnny Fox. So I did not know much about. Tell me about Johnny Fox. I, I thought I knew this era somewhat, oh but Johnny Fox, Johnny Fox. Well, how did I miss Johnny Fox? Johnny Fox. It's a stage name. My real name is. John Fox. <laughs> uh, yes, that really does. Adding that Y makes it a real renaissance kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to get to you, Johnny Fox, in just a little while. Robbie, tell us what's going on with you. What do you got there? Yes, Robbie. my lord, this is an English longbow. It's made of you, and of course, it is one of the most famous things associated with Robin Hood is his skill in archery. And how's yours? Oh, well, it's passing fair, my lord. Will there be a demonstration, perhaps, of your archery skills at the fair? In fact, you yourself can shoot at the archery butts if you are so inclined, and I I do believe this year we are hosting a tournament of the Golden Arrow, For wherein real? you can pit your skill against other characters of the fair. Myself, the sheriff, who's a terrible shot, Prince John, absolutely abysmal, <laughs> Princess Aurora, not too bad. I'll take you on and I'll split the shaft. Just Very like well in, then, Just my lord. like in the book. Yeah. You doubt that? I do not doubt. Princess, <laughs> tell me about you. I'm the Princess Aurora. I've been under the thrall of a curse for over a hundred years. A lot of beauty sleep to catch up on. Well, you appear to be awake right now, but that's just an illusion. Would you need a kiss, perhaps, to wake yourself up? Don't be fresh. I wasn't. I was thinking about <laughs> Robin doing it. I'm really happy to oblige, my lord. I mean, what is it? What is it? I don't know. All right. Um, <laughs> tell me, you've you got a range of characters and, 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 mm -hmm. and time periods here. It's not just specifically Renaissance, which would be defined as a little bit later, but it gets to the medieval era, mm -hmm. and they get into the era, of, uh, and we get into the fantasy Disney-esque thing as well. What's mm -hmm. your goal here in reaching people? To give them a day they won't forget. You know, entertainment, they're gonna see so many different things, they're gonna have a great time. It's just, come on out and give it a try, you're gonna love it. We have Wh something for everyone. What is it about this event, Princess? May I call you Princess? You may. That, uh, that, <laughs> I that, shall give you the authority. Thank you very much. That, 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 uh, that connects with people. What do you see in the eyes of those little girls that come up and, and, and see well, you? There's truly something for everyone at the fair, for children, for families, for couples, for people who are just looking for something different. Yeah. And uh, there's nothing that, that gives the entertainers, vendors, more pleasure than to see that look in children's eye. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Johnny. It is your time, my friend. Come on out here. Take center oh stage. Goodness. You got a balloon there, I brought, and I'm almost I, afraid to. I brought a yes, it's a, a frog intestine, uh, <laughs> and, and, and it is Robin Hood. So I stay in uh, mm -hmm. with the theme of Robin Hood. Yes, Toof. men in tights. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes I, I noticed that. I'm a sword swallower and magician, and. Uh, I'm not allowed to have swords in the, the studio. Yeah, here, what's up so, with that? I, so the, I know. the first thing I saw is you're going to have a sword swallower on the show, but there will be no swords. And I'm like, well. Insurance purposes, they say. Okay. So the balloons, children, this is dangerous. Don't try it. I'll be okay. I hate that. Oh, no way. No way. Here, turn, turn, the other way. turn the other way so you can see that this is not, this is not a, a different trick. That is uh, fascinating. Uh, it, is, it is horrifying. It's all the above. Oh. You all right? Yes. You uh, good? Tell me your favorite animal. What would that be? Snake. Uh, a snake. Um, no, not a snake. Um, uh, you got another bit? So, uh, are, you, are you waiting to do another bit here, or are you, are you signing off? What's the, I, I, help me out here, Robin. What's Johnny Fox, uh, what, what's he doing right here? I have a... Uh, Partaking in a nutritious breakfast, no doubt. <laughs> yes, none of us even got coffee. This man gets So, if you come out to the festival, um, don't expect the balloon to come back. Uh, 
Manana. Maybe by that time um, he will have found it. This is all going to be going on in Guilford, everyone, <laughs> at the Guilford Fairgrounds. That's at 111 Lover's Lane. It's open from now until June 8th. Oh, you got a long run here from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. 7 p.m., including Memorial Day. For more info, go to WTNH. Apparently, Johnny found the balloon. More at WTNH.com. I'm seeing things up here I've never seen before. I hope you do too. We have much more ahead on.